In today's video, we're checking out this Gibson Les Paul Classic electric guitar in ebony with these beautiful exposed zebra pickups. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. You're listening to this beautiful black Gibson Les Paul classic. Let's take a look. Now this guitar is weight relieved. Now a lot of people might sort of not like that, but I really love the fact it's a little bit lighter than a really, really heavy Les Paul at no expense on tone, or just in terms of how it feels in the hand. It feels great and it's got still plenty of weight behind it, so don't expect this to be feather light. Now we get two humbucker pickups, we get in the neck pickup, the burst bucket 61R and the 61T in the bridge. Obviously you can tell that they're exposed pickups, we get that zebra or zebra pattern. I think they look really, really cool. One of the best things about this instrument is just how great it sounds in humbucker mode, but if you want to go over to split coil mode, you've got those on the volume controls. We get two volumes and two tone controls. Here's the headstock up close, if we take a look at the back, we get the Grover tuners. We'll get 22 medium jumbo frets and a 12 inch fretboard radius. A lot of players will dig this slim taper neck and rosewood fretboard. A massive thank you first up to Sky Music for the loan of this guitar and many others like it. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. And if you want to find out more about this instrument, I'll leave links to Sky Music below. If you live outside of Australia, I'll leave some links to Toman and Sweetwater down there so you can price it up in your part of the world. But I'm really impressed by this out of all the Les Pauls so far. This one might be my favorite just in terms of the sounds I'm hearing out of it. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm plugged into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier. We're gonna start on the crunch channel and then work our way back to the clean. This is how the bridge pickup sounds with everything all the way up. Take a listen to this, it's a great bridge pickup. <laughs> Now over to neck pickup. Mm -hmm. 
volume control down. So it cleans up beautifully. That's one of the best things about the Gibson humbuckers. is they sound great with the volume control down. Still nice and clean. Now over to one of my favorite positions on this guitar, both pickups with the neck down just a hair. So plenty of attitude and plenty of cut on the top end, still sounds great. Let's try some clean tones now, starting on the neck pickup. Over to both. It's plenty of top end, that's really cool. And over to bridge. Let's try the bridge pickup now with the tone control on a little bit. I'll start with it all the way open to begin with. Back open. So it responds really quickly if we turn it down even further. Beautiful. Let's try some lead tones on the ultra gain channel of the amplifier now with a little bit of delay thanks to the time delay from crazy tube circuits and then we'll try it with it off as well. Here we go. It's bridge. <laughs> Delay pedal off. Now out of all the Les Pauls I've tried in the last month, at least on the YouTube channel, I've scheduled these out ahead of time. This one's, this neck pickup is by far the best. It has all the clarity there. I just really dig it. There's something about it that just sounds a little bit more just clear, even with that amount of drive. <laughs> seems to even handle the low end notes with that amount of drive, which was one of my criticisms of a couple of the other ones. But man, overall, what a guitar. Let's check out the split coil tones. Now, I don't go buy an Les Paul personally for split coil tones, but we're going to give them a shot and I'm just going to compare them quickly to how they sound without the split coil. So this is neck pickup in humbucker mode. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not bad. Over to both pickups in split coil mode. Humbucker. And bridge in humbucker mode. You know, that's usable, but I still much prefer the guitar in humbucker mode. Let's try some cleaner tones now on the split coil mode, starting on the neck pickup. I'm not a big fan of this, to be honest. It sounds a little bit, I don't know, like it's out of phase or something. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Both pickups. And bridge. I would probably have that either removed or never use it. I just much prefer buying a guitar like this for those humbucker tones. But let me know in the comments. I might be wrong whether or not you think Gibson make really good split coil sounding pickups or whether or not you just forget about it and ride it on humbucker mode the entire day. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also click that little bell. So what do I think of this Gibson Les Paul Classic? Now, I've had a chance to try a number of Les Pauls coming up to the end of the year here. And I gotta tell you, this particular one, tone-wise, is, I think, my favorite. There's something about the neck pickup on this that I like so much more than the others. The others still sound great, but this just has a clarity. And I don't know if that's got something to do because they're exposed pickups or not, or whether I'm just imagining it, but it sounds to me like this is a much cleaner guitar. It sounded great clean with the crunch, and then with the ultra gain tones, it pretty much played itself. And the sustain on this thing was great. I could just let those notes ring out on the intro track without even having to push down on, you know, without even having to pick a note. So that was really cool. So overall, this is a really beautiful guitar. The sounds of this are great. The only small criticism I have, because you, these pickups are exposed, there's already what looks to be some wear around the wrapping around the pickup or just some sort of um, gunk that's on there. I'll put a close up up. It's not a big deal, of course, but it's gonna probably happen anyway. But that's one of those things that won't happen if the actually covered with a piece of uh, metal so yeah i kind of feel like overall tone wise feel wise this thing just was probably the best out of the les pauls i had a chance to play the tuning reliability was good i had to tune it up a few times between takes there but that's not uncommon when these come straight out of the box but yeah what a beautiful instrument a massive thank you to sky music for letting me borrow this for the review i really appreciate it um you know something about a black les paul you know it really is i used to think these were a little too on the metal side but um I kind of really like it. I think it looks really classy. It reminds me of a much different version of BB King's Lucille in terms of that visual. You know, the black guitar. It just has that. You know, the gold the gold uh, knobs here as well. It just looks really cool. But yeah, overall, great guitar. If you want to find out more about this, links will be below. I'll leave some Toman and Sweetwater links down there if you want to check it out in your part of the world. If you're outside of Australia, otherwise, links to Sky Music will be below. Check it out. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.